All right, so today we are talking to group three. Right now, let's get on with Kyle Mead. Hello. What's up, Cool? What's up, sir? Let's go. <laughs> I'm so pumped right now. So pumped. <laughs> oh my gosh. I 100, 100% love your energy. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I am so pumped right You're now. Like, you let's have go. No, man, I'm excited too. <laughs> Yo, you know if you and I were in the same room, we would probably laugh like the entire time. Easy, hands down. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time ever, ever, wait, hold up, hold up. Yo, everybody, this is my first time ever being on video Skype or, or being on Skype with Kyle, ever. And it, it seems like I know him already, so this is dope. So what's up, man? <laughs> How you doing, bro? <laughs> Let's go! Come on, cool. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yo, all right, let me pull this together. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yo, man, what's up? <laughs> you good? I'm good, dog. Very cool. Very cool. Yo, first of all, let me just say <laughs> thank you so much. I'm so glad that you were uh, that you were persistent and you sent your video in. You were like, "Yo, I know you picked your 20." You know, maybe I can be 21. You know, if you like me, who knows? I really appreciate you. And thank you for being a part of Kukarel's Worldwide Internet Talent Search. Totally. Thank you so much, man. So, yeah. hey, so tell me, um, tell me where you're from. Tell me how old you are. Tell me where you live and all that. Cool. Um, originally, I'm from Peoria, Illinois. Oh, okay. So, growing up, you know, I was with my dad a lot playing in blues fests and bars. Okay. So like I grew up kind of, you know, in the whole soul type environment and like that's something that I absolutely love. Like nothing can hold a flame to soul music for me. That's dope. That's dope. I love it. And so, um, yeah, I'm 21. And so I, when I turned 18, I moved to Kansas City. And so I'm at a place right now that's called the International House of Prayer. Okay. Okay. And so I sing on a worship team. I'm on full-time staff here. Oh, no. Yeah. Man, very cool. Tell me a little bit about um, being on the worship team. What, is, you know, for people that don't know, uh, explain to people what that is. It's kind of different than what a, like a standard worship team would do in like big arenas and stuff. I mean, we've done that before. Yeah. But what we do is we've done um, for the past 10 years or 12 years now, we've done intercession and worship 24 hours straight. Which is, an, which is an absolute amazing combination. Like yeah. there is no better combination than having intercession, intercessory prayer along with worship. Love totally. it. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm doing probably about close to 24 to 26 hours a week yeah. singing. Wow. So your chops are sharp. Yep. You sharp with it, I love it. Yeah, man. I try to be. <laughs> hey, look, I know how it goes, man. That's incredible. Tell me how you see your ministry interacting or being joined with, you know, singing secular music or whatever. Like, do you have a certain way that you view that or have a certain vision for that in your as a part of your career? Honestly, I've always felt called to secular music. Yeah. But whether or not it's secular or it's worship music, I know that there's a dream in my heart yeah. that I've always wanted to, you know, have an impact in people's lives with music. And yeah. To just sing songs that go, that people go, oh my gosh, like this, this is moving me. And yeah. that's why I think I'm so into soul music is because it's, it's that feeling that you have, like that it can't express, like you can't just express it by talking about, like 
it's down in there Absolutely. and you just got to let it out. So I can completely see that in you, but that's how you know it's authentic and that's how you know like, like people are feeling what's going on and I think that's the true sign of the makings of a superstar, somebody that ha really has it true inside and know how to just get up there, put themselves aside, but still be that present. So I, yeah, you got that, man. Thank you so much, that's awesome. I commend you, go get it. Bro, it, this is just huge, cause like, I've told so many people, just like, the one person I would ever wanna work with, Ku Carell. Oh, dang, wow, thank you, man. Tell me, like, what's the end game for you? Like, like how do you see, how do you see yourself? I feel called to make an impact. And for, you know, what I'm doing, I want people to actually go, this dude is, there's something genuine, but I just want people to go, when they hear my music, I want them to go, okay, this cat is singing straight from his heart and it's, it's not phony. I want to be who I am and who God created me to be. I saw that you were doing this thing called Who's Next. I know you already picked your top 20. I just thought I would give it a shot since I just found out about it. Um, doesn't hurt to try. You know, if you do like me, maybe I could be a 21. We'll see what happens. But I'm going to play I Can't Make You Love Me by Bonnie Raitt. No. 